Hey guys, this is John W. Rhodes and I'm so excited today because I'm sharing with you for the first time. Uh, this is coming from my book, I Focus for Life. And in this book, it's a practical guide with strategies to help you keep focused in all areas of life. Now, this is a book that's broken down in, in um, many areas and through this video series, I'm going to share with you different keys, different keys. Now, the first key that I'm going to share with you today is called Fearless and Driven with Purpose. Fearless and Driven with Purpose. Now, why is it so important for us to know who we are? Why is it so important to know that we cannot move with fear? Why is it so important for us to know that God has a purpose and a plan for our lives? Listen, if we don't know our purpose, if we don't know the plan that God has for our life, and even after we know the purpose and the plan, if we don't have the faith to carry it through, it's very difficult for us to accomplish what God has called us to do. So with that said, guys, I'm going to go ahead and start here. And I'm going to be sharing with you again for some excerpts from my upcoming book, which will be released very soon. So I want you all to look for it. I'm going to turn to some of my notes here, and uh, if you all would, just be patient with me. And the first um, part, first part, we're just going to touch up on the first level of um, our key number one, fearless and driven with life. Number one is that we must know that we have been chosen. In other words, God says, I have chosen thee. And if you know that you God has chosen thee, then is it very important for you to simply go for it. Now, I want you to go out to Isaiah 41, 41, starting with the first verse. Listen, it says, keep silence before me, O islands, and let the people renew their strength. Let them come near, then let them speak. Let us come near together. To judgment. Who raised up the righteous man from the east, called him to his foot, gave the nations before him, and made him rule over nations? He gave them as the dust to his sword, and as driven stubble to his bow. Let me stop right there. Remember, I said this key in this series called Fearless and Driven with Purpose. Now, here in the passage, uh, verse 2, it says, Who raised up the righteous man from the east and called him to his foot and gave the nations before him? Here is the principle I want you to know that when God calls you out, he calls you out to rule. He calls you out to have dominion. He calls you out to have power over the things that are before you, to rule over those things. Uh -huh. he's, he's called us out as little kings and queens, amen, to rule over all that God has given us. And we must rule over it and not allow these things to rule over us. It says, he gave them as the dust to his sword and as driven stubble to his bow. Other words, listen, <laughs> the dust to his sword. Other words, when you raise your sword, when you go to do battle, you have victory. It's as dust. When you raise your sword, when you go forward, it's as double, stubble to his what? Bow. So God has given you dominion. God has given you power. And nothing shall by enemies hurt you. I know you've heard that scripture before. Let's keep going. And it says in verse 3, it says he, pursue, he pursued them and passed safely, even by the way that he had not gone with his feet. That's powerful. He pursued them 
and passed safely. Uh huh. Even by the way that he had not gone with his feet. In those times of your life, when you encounter things you have not even seen yet, eyes have not seen, nor ear have heard, nor has entered into the heart of man those things that God has in store for them that love him, I'm paraphrasing, that love him. Listen, your eyes can't even imagine what God has in store for you. Your eyes can't even imagine what God is going to do on your behalf in fighting for you. He's, he's fighting for you behind the scenes. But you got to recognize, uh-huh, but you got to recognize that you were driven with purpose. See, you must go forth with purpose. Not just going through the motions because somebody told you, but you driven with purpose because you understand God's word and you understand God's word is mapped out for you. Every individual, whether we believe it or not, is mapped out for us. Now, the question is, listen, are we going to line up with the word one way or the other? Are we going to line up with the promises? Or are we going to line up with the curses? Are we uh, going to line up with the blessings or the curses? Are we going to line up with the abundance or the lack? What am I saying? Listen, it's up to us where we line up and how the word affects us and plays out in our life. It's all determined on our choices. We can't blame anyone else but ourselves, right? Here, let's go to verse 4. It says, Who hath wrought and done it, calling the generations from the beginning? I, the Lord, the first and with the last, I am he. Again, we're in Isaiah 41 and 4. It says, The owl saw it and feared. And ends of the earth were afraid, drew near, and came. They helped everyone his neighbor, and everyone said to his brother, Be of good courage. We have to learn to encourage ourselves simply because we know that God says he is the alpha. He is the mega. He is the beginning. He is the end. He is the first and the last. Look at verse 4. He says, I, the Lord, the first, and with the last, I am he. Moses asked, God, who do I tell the people that you are? He says, tell them that I am that I am. In other words, he is everything that we need. He is everything that we need him to be and everything that he already is, whether we recognize it or not. He is, hallelujah, the Lord of lords. He is the King of Kings. He is the Alpha and the Omega. He is the beginning and the end. He is the first and the last. He is our creator. He is our maker. He is I am that I am. Look at verse 7. It says, So the carpenter encouraged the goldsmith, and he that smothered with 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 the uh the hammer, him that smelt smote the anvil, saying, it is ready for the soldering. And he fastened it with nails that it should not be removed. But thou, now listen here, here's the key verse. But thou, Israel, art my servant, Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. Listen, you have been chosen. You are his servant. Says Jacob, whom I have chosen, the seed of Abraham, my friend. We are the seed of Abraham. Those who, the spiritual seed, those who have accepted Jesus Christ as their personal savior. You are the seed of Abraham. Verse 9 says, Thou whom I have taken from the ends of the earth and called thee from the chief men thereof and said unto thee, Thou art my servant. I have chosen thee and not cast thee away. The enemy wants to convince you 
or persuade you that you were not chosen for God's will. But God has chosen you. God has sought you out for his purpose and for his will. He says, I have chosen thee and not cast thee away. Regardless of what you've been through, regardless of what you've gone through, God has not cast you away. Believe. Believe in him. Believe that he's chosen you and called you out for such a time as this. Look at verse 10 and we're in right here. Again, we're dealing with, I have chosen thee. Again, when we talk about the I focus for life, key principle, number one. Here's the last point. Last point. It says, fear thou not, for I am with thee. This is verse 10. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. Why does he tell us not to fear? Again, he has chosen us. He has called us out, but we must be bold. We must be courageous. We must uh, be able to face the enemy, look him straight in the eye and say, I am not afraid of you. <laughs> For God has given me the victory. Right? Fear thou not. For I am with thee. In other words, be confident that God is with you. He's behind you every step of the way. I know it seems difficult. Listen, the people will come against you, but don't fear. Don't be dismayed. Don't be discouraged. That's why the Lord told me, he says, fear thou not, for I am with thee. Be not dismayed, for I am thy God. I will strengthen thee. God will strengthen thee. He will strengthen you. He will make you strong so that you can bear any test and trial that comes your way. Yes, they'll come from you from the left to the right, frontward, backwards, but don't be dismayed. Don't even be distracted. See, again, we're talking about focus for life. How can we be focused for life? It says, I will again strengthen you. Yea, I will help thee. The Lord says he'll never leave you nor forsake you. He'll be with you every step of the way. So you got to believe that, okay? Yea, I will uphold thee with the right hand of my righteousness. Hmm. Regardless of how many times you failed, regardless of how many times you've disappointed God, he says, listen, don't, 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 don't rest on your own righteousness, on your own works. Lean on me. See, when you lean on God, when you lean on him and say, Lord, I need you. I can't do this alone. Then that's when the Lord knows that you're resting in his righteousness. That's when he knows that you're resting in his strength and not your own strength. Why? Because you recognize that you can't do it alone. And that's where I want to encourage you all. This is the, again, uh, from the series Again, or from the book, that is upcoming book, I Focus for Life. I Focus for Life. And this is from the uh, key number one, fearless and driven with purpose. We only, we only covered the first portion, the first two um, key principles of key number one. Again, I, I focus, uh, I have chosen the uh, first part coming from Isaiah uh, 41 and 8 and 10. And then, of course, we talked a little uh, about, uh, again, fearless, having fearless faith, which um, I didn't mention this scripture, but 2 Timothy 1 and 8 says that God has not given us the spirit of what? Fear, but of power and of love and of a, what? A sound mind. But we, we uh, capitalize on verse 10. So in our next part, we will... Um, expound more on the next um, um, portion principle of key number one that is fearless and driven with purpose and the next principle the next key uh, portion will be fearless faith fearless faith okay well listen guys it's been a joy um, each portion of these series uh, just 15 minutes so anyway god bless you you have a victorious week <laughs>